This video is for Kingsborough Community College students who are unfamiliar with getting onto Blackboard or quite not quite sure how to get black onto Blackboard and would like a little explanation. Uh, it's particularly designed for my students. Uh, I teach philosophy at Kingsborough. My name's Richard Legum. I'm an assistant professor there. And I'm putting this up so that you can have a better idea of how to access Blackboard from your computer and what you need uh, to know about Blackboard. The first thing to know about Blackboard is Blackboard behaves differently depending on what browser you use. I mean the three popular browsers are, and you'll see them over on the left of the screen, Internet Explorer is the one that comes with Microsoft Windows, Google Chrome, and then there's Firefox from uh, Mozilla Firefox, the company. And that is on the PC platform. If you run a Mac, uh, you're familiar with Safari. Now, let me suggest to you, the way you want to run Blackboard is on Firefox, not on the other browsers. Firefox is the platform that they develop it. And it will run very well on Chrome, Internet Explorer, uh, Safari, or for that matter, on your mobile device, on your uh, Android uh, phone or on your iPhones. However, if you want to get the full functionality, the way to do that is to use Firefox. So now let me start up Firefox. You're looking in the background at Internet Explorer, but let me start Firefox, which you see over here, and I also have it on the bottom. If you don't have it on your computer, you can just go to uh, do a Google search for Firefox and it will come up and you'll be able to install it free of charge. Okay, well here it is starting up and the place you want to go to get to Blackboard is the CUNY portal which is where I automatically have it starting but if you don't, if it doesn't come this up this way or if you just installed it look up in the corner what you want to just do is type in CUNY.edu and lo and behold my screen isn't going to change because that's where you were to begin with now notice over on the right side of the screen just below that white bar over here it says login and if you put your cursor on that login you see it gives you an option CUNY, uh, CUNY portal which is just where we are CUNY first blackboard eSIMS now we want to start Blackboard. So we'll click on Blackboard and the browser will ask you for a, uh, well, it'll say authentication required. It's asking you for your username and password. Over here, I'm going to put in mine. You're going to have to use yours and it's going to be very critical for you to know what your username and password are. If you don't, you're going to need to contact IT. I have a different video for that. I just want to get you to log in to Blackboard and understand what you're seeing here. So I'm now going to log in. My username and my password. And I never let it store passwords. And here, the screen that just came up is the main screen Blackboard. can be a little confusing if you're not used to Blackboard, but the important thing that I want you to look at is over on the right side of the screen, over here where we have a listing of my courses. And here for me it says courses you're teaching, because I teach there. Uh, for you, you'll probably have something that says like courses you are taking um, or you're enrolled in. And if you look at it, for, on mine it says, you know, 2013, spring semester, ethics, one course I'm teaching, you might be in my ethics class, history of, philo history of philosophy, the modern philosophers, tells you the section number, only one of these will appear if you're one of my students. And to get started and to get into the course, or to get into one of my courses, what you want to do is just double click on the course and here you are so getting into blackboard and getting into your courses is just 
that simple.